this is my gauntlet for the next three days. Prep day is today and tomorrow, and then the actual cook day on Tuesday, which is nothing more than reheating a lot of these, believe it or not. My first course is a shrimp noodle with smoked yogurt and nori powder. My second course is scallops with pine needle udon, grapefruit dashi, and Chinese broccoli. And the last one is a root beer chew. And out of these three, I've had this one before. The root beer chew is one I really like, so I'm looking forward to attempting to recreate this without screwing up. <laughs> After getting Chef Dufresne's blessing, I don't want to let him or anyone associated with WD-50 down. Caffeine in hand, I get to work on the two easiest items on the list. Rather than going out and buying tomato powder, I decided to make some of my own. Just took two Roma tomatoes, sliced them very thin in a mandolin, then lined the pan with parchment paper, spread them out into a thin layer, and then into the oven at 180 degrees for about four hours. The dehydrated tomatoes then went through a coarse and fine grind to achieve powder form. Noticing a little bit of moisture left over, my wife recommended placing the powder underneath a seed germination station in our kitchen. The nori underwent the same dehydration process in the oven, but only for an hour. You can get that a few more minutes. What do you think, pup? Yeah? Okay, maybe two hours. Regardless, same coarse and fine grinding was applied to the nori, but no additional heat needed. Just like that, two items crushed. Next up is pine oil, which will eventually be used for the pine needle udon. While I could have plucked any young spruce shoots from any pine tree, the only ones around me were on a neighbor's yard. So I ordered these ones from the Evergreen State itself, Oregon. Blend this on high with some grapeseed oil for two minutes, then place into a bag and deposit in a 158 degree water bath for one hour. While the pine oil infuses, I move on to a staple of Japanese cuisine, dashi. I've got some dashi kombu, dried seaweed here. Whew. This looks like it's been preserved, so I'm not gonna try taking a bite of it. Get this cut up. The easier pieces to put into the pot I have there. So it has just water in it right now. So wet this with a damp cloth and fill it in. 